here, store-bought versus homemade. What's more cost-effective, and is it worth the work? Here to break it down is our DIY expert, Monique taylor Yu. Thank you. Different things, beautiful luxury items, blankets, candles, flowers, like flowers that last for a long time, mm -hmm. and, and sort of compare. Yes. So you went out there and you did these projects. Yes. Um, like props to you, girl. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> let's show, let's start with the blankets. They're beautiful and yes. luxe and like, oh, so nubby. I love them. Yes. So you've probably seen these all over social media. They yes. are super comfy. They're huge. They're chunky. Yes. And they're made with a wool called merino wool. Oh, merino wool. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Very and nice. Feels not good. something that is just made here in Canada. It has yeah. to be imported. So. With Sounds it being like, imported, there's a little bit of a cost attached to that. There is a cost attached yes. to this. And so, yes, it's it's in the upper, it could be as high as, you know, three seventy five dollars okay. for something of this nature, and depending on the size, of course. So hundreds yeah. of dollars for this? Yes. Three seventy five. dollars Now you went and made your own. I made my own. Okay. I went to my local craft shop and I so got impressed. a I, I got a wool this. blend yarn uh, yeah it feels soft and made it myself and i'm no so i am no knitter okay, yeah, okay. I, <laughs> I don't have a background this in this is why i'm so impressed right. <laughs> like i can't believe so, you showed up here with this this is right amazing. and so i made this i there's a arm method which some folks have, may have seen and there's yeah. also a floor method so again i'm not a knitter so i went with a floor method okay and it's actually very simple you just uh it's a loop on loop is what i like loop to loop, loop if to you will loop. so you just take the yarn you make a loop yeah. And then you just keep on pushing through the loops. So you go through one loop, and, loop, and you then go you go through, through the next loop. Ne okay. And then you keep on doing that over and over and over. Yes. And then when you get to the end, you zip back like a typewriter. And you start again. And keep on doing it over and over. And I just binge watched a television show. Yes. And did this. <laughs> well, I need <laughs> to ask you this. How many TV shows are we talking okay. here? How so, much time does this take? So in terms of with a little bit of kitty interruptions, it took yes. about four hours for me to do. Four so hours? Actually, it's not bad for no, this it's beautiful gorgeousness. It's soft. It right. feels so good. And How much did this cost? Under $100. Under the yarn cost me under a hundred dollars. So okay. it's really, if you have the time and you're yeah. good, yeah. I want to do a recap it's... now. Yeah. So the store bought blanket actually cost three hundred and seventy five dollars. It is gorgeous. Monique's homemade blanket cost ninety dollars plus some binge watch dollars. <laughs> <laughs> If you've got the time, you know, like exactly. the fact that you got through this much in four hours, this yes. is a hefty piece. Incredible. Exactly. Okay, let's okay. go down to the candles because everyone loves candles, yes. um, the fragrance of it. So store-bought versus uh, homemade. homemade. Right. The so store-bought you know, candle is which one? So it Because yours are so good, I can barely <laughs> tell. <laughs> That's Over this here. One? Okay. Yes. And so again, going to your luxury department stores or even your luxury home decor stores, you can yes. see these candles even for this size. Again upper even lower hundreds ninety two dollars folks for that yeah. candle ninety two dollars for this all right so let's mm -hmm. let's go home and yes. put our wallets away right. and see what we can make right. at home for not ninety two dollars so i was able to find some vegan soy wax so coconut okay. soy mix okay. online nice. um, a great canadian store can wax and i was able to order my supplies yeah. and get them and make my own candles and that's what we're gonna do here okay so show us the process okay of making so them. the process is so first you want to get a double broiler yeah and so that's just your your standard pot with water in it you don't want to scorch the wax so that's why you want to keep it like this right? okay and then you put your wax so this is an example of the wax it comes in blocks that's a nice chunk of and you, vegan wax right and then you cut it down yeah and usually you use, uh, to make a candle that size, you probably need about a pound of wax. A pound. A pound. Okay. You could probably make two out of that. All right. And so then after, once you start heating up your wax, yeah. it's good to use a candy thermometer because mm -hmm. temperature is very key. Okay. So once your temperature gets down to, gets up to 160, yes. that's degrees Fahrenheit. Yes. That's where you add your fragrance. So oh, we have nice. a lovely vanilla. You can have a whiff of that. Can you smell that? Mm. Oh, that's yes. so good. I've already added that in. Okay. Put and then that you in let there. that cool a little bit more down to about 120, 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. And then you take that out and then you pour it 
into your prepared candle. So this is a little candle kit that you can get. Right, at the store. And so you get your jars, yeah. you get your wick, yep. and so with your wick, they come with little glue dots, and you just apply the glue dots to the bottom of your wick, oh, and you nice. press it down. Yeah. And you don't even have to get a fancy supply just to, to hold your wick steady. You just take your, you Sounds know, good. a skewer that you may already have in the kitchen, yep. and then just wrap the wick around and then set it down, and then like how you did, you poured your wax in, okay. and you let that cool, let that sit, and then you should let that sit for about 24 to 48 hours before yeah. you burn it. Okay, Cut your wick interesting. Down. Yeah. So that actually cost you um, a rousing $8. Yeah. Okay, $8. so $8 to make it. How long was the whole process to make the candle, do you think? Um, probably about a half an hour to an hour, because you want it oh, to, to melting the wax, yes. you want it to take its time. Okay, good. Yeah, so the store-bought candle, $92, yeah. just to remind you, $92 yeah. for the store-bought candle. The homemade candle, eight dollars and a half an hour. Right. For that ninety-two dollars, you can make quite a few. You can make a lot of candles. Okay. It's a great gift. Okay, okay I want to talk about these gorgeous yes. flowers, the roses. And kind of continuing along with the wax theme here, we have yeah. the luxury flower boxes. You've again beautiful. seen them. They're beautiful. They last over a year. Yes. And so again. Hundreds of dollars is okay. what you're looking at for that. We have $155 for yes. these gorgeous flowers. I mean, they make a beautiful gift, but you know, right. we're talking a little bit pricey. Yes. So and so, own. exactly. So what I've opted to do is I've gotten flowers and I got this box online and it's great because then afterwards you could store your cosmetics in it after a while. Yeah. But you just take this box, again, this box is about $30. Okay. If that. And then you take your flower. Yes. So here, this is actually one that's waxed. So oh, so how do you wax it? So you take your flour. Yeah. And then again, with your wax, again, around that 120 degrees Fahrenheit. You dip it. You dip it. So is this how they preserve them? So no. Some, <laughs> some do. <laughs> to last that long, they have a special <laughs> a solution that, you know, they're not going to give us their secrets, right? Right. So okay. we got to kind of make up our own. And, uh, and so you use the wax. Though. Good right. for you, Mo. And then you let that drip. You hold it straight up. Yeah. And then you just hold it down, and then you're good to go. And so then you can it. it preserves the color and everything. Exactly. And it's going to last a while. Yes, it will. Store bought flowers, $155. Homemade flowers, $66. Yes. And they can last a very easy to do. Yeah. You got to make the time commitment. That's the exactly. situation. But none of them took you a crazy amount of time. So no. thank you for doing that experimentation no for us. Let's